Coming at you now, it's the maestro, Talking Tom on Kane County's best WKRZ. Yeah! yeah! We got some more great music for you coming up, but first I want to let you know that there's a heat advisory out for today. Temperatures will be in the hundreds all weekend long, so stay indoors, relax, and try to keep from working too hard. I know there's a lot of you runners and bikers out there. Make sure you got lots of water with you at all times. If you've got elderly family members nearby, make sure you get their AC running full throttle. The old and the young are the most susceptible to heat strokes and heat-related deaths. It'd be a damn shame if we lost anyone because of this heat. So, make sure you take it easy and keep it here with me, talking Tom, and I'll help you get through one hell of a hot day. The request lines are open and we got calls coming in from all over. I'll try to get all of them in a timely manner. I am the maestro, after all. You're in good hands here, people. Coming up next, I got a request from a man out in Medora's way. Sounds like the heat's already starting to get to him. Hopefully, this will calm him down a bit. It's something off Revolver on Kane County's best, WKRZ. So, uh, who's next on the list? Jerry House. Who the fuck is Jerry House? A famous blues guitarist? I wouldn't exactly say famous. Who gives a damn about him? Our publisher? He's a big blues fan. Figured Jerry House's name might spark some interest from him. And who knows? Maybe we can sweeten the promotions deal once this thing is said and done. Well, I knew there was a reason I kept you around. Smart. Oh yeah, right. You mean I keep you around? Mind filling up the tank? Not a bit. I'm Jed. I'm Rob. That's Katie. Katie, huh? I had a cousin named Cassie. Did you know her? Know her? I'm afraid not. Well, yeah. it don't make no never mind. Do you mind pointing us in the direction of Medora Cemetery? Now, what would y'all want to go down there for? We're writing a book on famous grave sites in Illinois. There's an old blues guitarist buried there, Jerry House. Ever heard of him? No one's ever heard of him, Katie. Like, you ain't gonna go digging him up now, are you? We're just going to take a few pictures, that's all, and Rob here is going to write about the experience. Keep on going about seven more miles. Be a dirt road on your right, take you right up to the cemetery. Thanks. Now, just make sure you don't go digging around down there. Ralph, the caretaker, he's the one that does all the digging. Thank you. What are you doing? I'm filling up your car. The, the gas tank's by the trunk. Don't you think I know that? Rob, just pay him and let's go. Don't make a scene, okay? I 
I, I think that'll be enough. It's not quite full. You want me to stop it, Sean? Uh, yeah, please. Dollars? Cents. Are you sure? Yeah. Gas is getting mighty expensive these days, ain't it? Just go ahead and keep the change. Well, thank you. You have a nice day now. Welcome to Medora, huh? A town where no one digs up graves but the caretaker. At least the guy was nice. It could have been a lot worse.
hell is this? Is he fishing? They sure curl a little different out here, don't they? I don't know, but I think this is at least worth a closer look, don't you think? They biting today? Damn kids, scared the fish off. Damn kids. I think he's talking about Down us. here a while back, me and buddies down to the river named Woody. We was catching this one fish and we was kind of a little farther over. I had one earlier. I struggled with him damn near two hours. And I got him in the net and he tore a hole through the bottom of the net and then I lost him. Yeah, we was out fishing here the other day. <laughs> I got this one what nice are you so goddamn happy a about? Bit bigger fish. I think we just struck gold. Get, up, get your camera, get a picture of this whack job. And instead of having one fish, when I got in, Why? I he'll hear one you. One nice fish and one little bigger one. It doesn't matter if he hears me. He has no idea what the fuck is going on. And then, so we had plenty of food for the supper for that night, but we come back the next day and we didn't catch no more fish that day. And he got on to another fish and we ended up having an one all total, and we we'll ended up losing that one. And we got one that weighed about 95 pounds. And then we took it to the bank, and we lost it. And then we had to end up putting the boat back in to find it. So why am I taking this picture? And we never did picture? find that fish. My little brother, he found You don't see the potential here? He caught one. Reading about people who are out of their yeah. fucking gourds is way more interesting than reading about weathered tombstones. Day, because we didn't have any more We got our second book right here. Some Just take some pictures so people don't think we're the ones who lost our minds. And then that didn't work very well. So we had to go up and just catch some more little fish. We ended up a bunch of nothing. And then we ended up having to just go home for today. <laughs> Jesus, Jesus, I knew you'd come back. Oh! On the Pour more bear. on the teddy bear, Brianna. Yeah, I'm so the teddy bear. And yeah, don't make it look scary. And the tutu, Brianna. Don't forget the tutu looking bad. What is it? 
right over there. That yeah. tutu looking thing. Oh, you don't want to get that's on a, the ground. Take me with you, Jesus. Take me to your kingdom. <laughs> Do you think everyone in town is like this? I guess it's possible we just ran into the town nut jobs. But I guess we'll find out, won't we? I'm the one that's gonna be like me. Check out the old lady. Come along now, Jasper. You're so slow. Shit me, it's like a hundred degrees outside, and this guy's walking around in a Santa Claus outfit. Have you been good this year, Rob? Hey, I want to go back and take a look at that shirt.
at this guy. How you doing? Be careful. It's not like these people are actually dangerous. They're just acting irrationally. When people act irrationally, it's a danger to everyone. Hey, TJ Hooters. Can I get a shot of that milk there? You okay? Yeah, no thanks to you. Fuck, I'm sorry. Look, maybe we should just find the cemetery and get out of here. Alright. Look, kids! It's the sheriff! Over here, Tom! Do you think we should call someone? You actually get service out here? Yeah. I don't know who the hell you'd call. What do you mean? It's the law, I think. You brought your camera, great! Come take our picture! I'd love to, Gladys, but I don't have any film. I found your film. Good job, partner. All right, everybody, line up. Moving just a little bit closer there. I just can't get everyone in the shot. Could we maybe... Oh, that's okay. Just get a picture of Davy here instead. I can do that. Yeah, that's good. That's a good smile, Davy. Now say cheese. Oh, <laughs> oh,
It's time to get out of here. There's blood in the air. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who's next? Me next to me. Fucking car, ain't it? You must have some kind of fucking nerve. You think I don't know who you are? Fucking city scum. I know these goddamn tire treads anywhere. You're the fucking pinko bastards that ruined my yard last we year. We never. Shut your fucking cock goblin mouth. You city folk are all the same. You ain't got no goddamn respect. You think everything should be your own fucking parking lot. You ain't got no fucking yard. You don't respect the yard. We're not from the city. Lies! 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 We'll pay you for the damage. Pay me? You can't put monetary value on something like a yard. Oh no. We're gonna have to settle this the old way. Just like it says in the Bible. Eye for an eye. But you ain't got no fucking yards, do you? So I guess I'm gonna have to improvise. Run. I'll be right behind you. I love you, just go. Hello? 9-11 emergency. My boyfriend's in trouble. Your boyfriend likes bubbles? No, I said my boyfriend's in trouble. Are you listening? Hey, look, honey, I got some buns in the oven to be buttered. You're not making any sense. Well, what do you want me to do about it? You want me to transfer you? Trouble? Friend is. You're not from around here, are you? I didn't think so. I've been teaching here for quite some time and I would have remembered having you in class. How, how far is the nearest town? About five or six miles. Why? A man in town. He's convinced my boyfriend and I ruined his lawn last year. You are the ones who ruined the lawn?
Hey, Tom, those cities come to rule my lawn last year? They're back. You're kidding me. They have a nerve to come back here? Yeah. Where are they? They ran off to the hills, I guess. Well, let's fucking get them. We're gonna need some weapons. Jesus has come to take us away. He's come. Here, Jesus has come to take us away. Jesus has come. He's here. Jesus has come to take us away.
All right. <laughs> this will do. You, one for you, one for you, and one for me. I live in an emergency. I had an accident. Well, what do you want me to do about it? Are you listening to me? I've had an accident. Okay. The guy's hurt out here, dead maybe. I don't know. We have to get an ambulance out here immediately. I'm not sure where I'm at, okay. but we got to get some help out here right now. Okay. He could be dead. I don't know. He's not breathing. I don't know what what to do. Can you want me to transfer Oh, you? thank God. I got your call for help. What's wrong? I didn't hit anybody, it must have been the other guy. Tell me where you are, what happened? I mean, I don't know what happened. I just got here. What about the other guy, is he okay? No, I think he's dead. That's her! Get her! Yeah! Yeah, get that bitch! Howdy ma'am, be just a little bit longer on your car. I forgot to park.
coming for you, girly. Don't lose her. Santa Claus will hear you. If he doesn't like adults, he killed my father. Come on out, girly! I love this corn. God damn it! here somewhere. What the hell's wrong with you people? Welcome to my home.
Here, girly, girly, girly. No! I love you, Rob. I didn't get a chance to say it when we were in town. I didn't think I ever would. I love you. I love apple pies. The bug. It's airborne, isn't it, Rob? The bug. It's airborne. Pies can't fly, sweetheart. This isn't the way it was supposed to be. I guess neither one of us can help that now. I'm gonna keep running, Rob, until the bug gets me too. We'll just keep going, together, okay? I love you.
love Rob. I love you. No! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not running anymore, you stupid bastards. I'm gonna drive. Part of being sane is wanting to be alive. I can't just die. Not now. Not ever. I've got to keep running. Go fishing. That's all I wanted to do. He just had to walk on water. Woo! <laughs>
great like you did my mom last summer? Would you ruin the beautiful sod that lies above me? Dirty cock goblin whore. Would you have ruined my beautiful marker? Damn city hussy. You should respect the earth, you know. You're gonna be buried in it one day. If anyone cares to bury you. Stole my wife's eyes, now I'm gonna steal yours. Eye for an eye. <laughs> eye for an eye.